Good morning. It's Friday. I'm happy for today because I am off tomorrow after working two weeks straight. I uh, get to go hunting in the hunting woods, sit in the tree, take a long nap pretty much. But uh, we are headed this morning to a call. It's a Mitsubishi Mini Split. We just did maintenance on it and one of them seems to be a bad board so I'm going out to diagnose and see if it's a bad board or if there's just some corrosion or anything going on so I thought I'd bring you guys along it's pretty it's pretty simple to really diagnose if it's an outside board or what so uh, all these Mitsubishi so I'll bring you along show you what's up Here's a head unit. It runs off the thermostat. She had a, an error on here, and I think it was showing low battery. So we're gonna change the battery, see if it fixed it. Okay, so it's pretty simple. We have L1 and L2 is your line going in to the outside board. S1, 2, and 3 is your line going out. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to check AC voltage of power going in. Let's see if I can try to get this into the display. So we're going to go between here and here. voltage issue or my meter sucks let's make sure we got power coming out here turn everything on so what i want to do because i'm getting like 10 volts across you should be getting 240 or 208 across here you see and i'm getting at the cables I'm getting 248 which is good and then you're gonna do the same thing to S1 S2 so it's coming out of the board 248 so the board is giving power coming out and then you're gonna to go to uh, DC voltage and you're gonna check between S2 and S3 and you should be getting between 12 and 24 I'm getting one volt, so we're going to wait and see, make sure the system kicks back on, and then we'll see what we're getting. Okay, so I just swapped the thermostat, so it's calling for cool mode. And then I'm going to sit here and wait for this thing to kick on, 
See if we're getting communication voltage coming through. We'll just give it a few minutes. So I just reset it, but line one, D48. Line two, 248. And you switch it over to DC. Negative one volt. So we need to take this board, I need to flip it so I can look at the, the plugs. Okay, so there's a red, see I unplugged it. We're gonna try to take DC voltage there. You should have around 340, somewhere close to that. If you got that, I mean the board's okay and we have something else going on. All right, so let's see. DC. We have zero volts DC on that dot, that plug, so it's a bad, bad board. Usually, I know it's a bad board. I've done so many, so I won't do all this. But for the camera's sake, you have to take the door off to get under there to get to that, and to switch it and everything. So, unfortunately, if you want to diagnose communication error and a board issue, that's how you do it that way. Sometimes you can just smell the board. Sometimes uh, you're not getting high voltage back to communicating. There's other easier ways to know. Usually if you have zero communication, it's a bad board outside, not inside. So uh, if you have a 24 volts DC or something solid, then it's not fluctuating inside, you might wanna look inside, it might be a bad inside board. It's just not communicating back, but this is sending voltage to the unit. But that's that, and we'll put this thing back together and go from there. put back together I'm going to leave the breaker off shut this and uh, we'll get them an estimate look at that view very nice if this was helpful for any of you techs out there uh, be sure to smash that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe and comment below if uh, I'm I mean I miss a lot of stuff on videos I cut a lot of these videos short for entertainment purposes I don't want to drag it all out but if I need to focus maybe on the next call on one little area or still some footage from another video to make a video to focus on that area um, just let me know and I'll try to make another video on that stuff until next time guys thanks for watching